other uh, files for us. Physical. Harsh rock. We were porous TV. We were porous and that. Adam, where are your gloves? very much. He spent his life in bed eating chocolate. He moved over to Greystone Avenue and from there he moved to Sudley Road where I met him for the first time. He's moved from living in a in a, an apartment in a shared block to moving to an apartment in a more of an outreach situation. He'd have to phone an on-call person if he had an emergency in the night. Um, and he is now doing volunteer work. He is getting an awful lot out of you know, the work he does at the Audible Country Centre, um, in the cafe, and various things he does down there. He's engaged to his girlfriend. Oh, you know, all you, of Adam. the things that we ex you know expect to. Um, experience in our lives, you know, Adam is now experiencing, whereas before um, he came here, um, he really didn't have a hope of engaging in that sort of life, normal life, I suppose. Happy.
are up here. Uh, first side, I look at Kizzy first side. The space of Steve, Chris. Yeah, of folks, right? Football, cookie for stick, uh, spitter. Father, rock, something, father. Uh, party. Sorry, Catty, Joy, Dismiss, Cards, uh, Music, Arag Music, Sparks, Is for Terry, Door, Is Pigs here, Terrific. My name's Sophie Sheffield, was Harvey, and uh, I run the vintage workshop at the Aldingbourne Country Centre. And today Adam is painting a house for the guinea pig village up at the Animal Farm. It's great for Adam to be taking part in a meaningful project for himself um, and the country centre. It's going to enhance customers' experience of, of the open farm. Um, and it's you know fantastic for our clients to have an active part in that, so he'll have real ownership of it when it's sort of out there in the wider environment. Adam's very good at precise and methodical work, anyway. So it's kind of this type of project plays to his strengths, where he's you know it's an individual that I know will be able to you know put the effort in for the amount of time necessary and have the again necessary attention to detail to get it finished to a high enough standard the same thing that makes it a you know really dynamic environment for Adam to work in means that it's quite a rewarding environment for me as well because I get to respond to you know up to seven or eight individuals on a, on a daily basis and sort of coming up with new projects for them as much as it can be a challenge actually that's really rewarding at the same time